Let's talk Java. What are the features of this programming language? Well, first off, back in the, in the olden days before most of you were born, there was a company called Sun Microsystems. And I had the privilege of, of visiting the Sun Microsystems site in, in Northern California before they went out of business. Um, and I, I was able to see kind of their layout, uh, how, how they, their business model. It was really a, a, a wonderful company. Um, they developed it as an object-oriented programming language that would actually be general purpose. That, that is that it could be used for all kinds of things. Um, it could be used for running data. It could be used for developing games. The advantages were it was secure because it was object-oriented. As we've talked about before, the encapsulation processes allowed it to have those security features. But one of the main advantages at the time was that it ran on a Java virtual machine, um, therefore it was architecturally neutral. Uh, a job, Java could run on any architecture. It could run on Apple devices, the Solaris, which was Sun's operating system. It could run on an IBM PC compatible machine. It could run on a Macintosh machine. It could run on anything. Um, it, it doesn't execute instructions directly in the machine language, but it runs on that computer known as the JVM, uh, which compiles and interprets that down to the to bytecode, what compiles it to bytecode, and then allows the, the computer to to, uh, uh, to run against it. It's, uh, it allows the computer to run it properly. But the important thing about Java Virtual Machine is you can run that JVM on any machine, and it reinterprets that based on uh, which machine it was running in. Um, the programming, the program statements are written in a high-level language, and as I mentioned before, high-level programming languages are referencing to the fact that the language can be written in a way that, that the programmer understands. Um, you, you don't write some random machine assembly language code uh, to, to, to tell the computer to do something. Uh, you say things like print, you say things like, um, like Whatever you tell it, it's language that makes sense to you. It's a high-level language. The development environment includes a set of tools that allows you to write programs. I referenced bytecode earlier. Now, these are statements saved in a file, and it's a binary program into which the Java compiler converts source code. The Java interpreter then checks the bytecode and communicates with the operating system. The interpreter executes bytecode instructions line by line within the Java virtual machine. The fact that this was native and built into the Java programming language uh, made Java a very strong language and it rapidly um, kind of went like wildfire through the, through the programming industry. And now it's, it's, it's an older language at this point in history, but it, a lot of legacy code is built in Java and languages like Kotlin still use the Java virtual machine. So this is sort of how the Java environment works. Source code is stored in a disk on a file with a name ending Java. And we're going to show you how to do that later on. The computer creates a bytecode. So you type in like Java C and you type in the, the name of your, of your file and it creates that bytecode that's stored on a disk with a name ending in dot class. Then the Java Virtual Machine performs security checks and translates that bytecode into machine language and it executes that and it sends it to the operating system. It's architecturally independent, so it's irrelevant which operating system you're using. The Java Virtual Machine will work within that framework. Therefore, you can write it once and you can run it anywhere. If I build a Java application in on a on a HP computer and I send it to your computer and you're running a Mac, that will still run. The console applications of Java support character output. So we have a console and almost every IDE allows this, unless you're working like in, a, in just a text editor. It supports character output. And the windowed applications, the libraries that we developed uh, from, from the initiation of, uh, of Java, allow menus, toolbars, and dialog boxes.